It seemed that the relevant Scared Shamoon always enjoy is about to blow on his face. Scared Shamoon has been facing lots of backlash lately from his fellow Christian apologists, which in my opinion marks the beginning of his end. This is no longer the good old days where his rude and erratic behavior to fellow Christians and fraudulent ways were tolerated in the name of covering for a brother in the Lord so these Muslims don't have something to say against him. Before we get entangled by this topic which Allah's willing will have a part two and perhaps a part three due to its compelling evidences, let's not forget to like, share, Share and comment positively as this will help the video reach more people. It is worthy of note that Christian apologists have had enough of Scared Shamoon and are willing to spill the beans. Anthony Rogers, a close buddy of Scared Shamoon, is a perfect example. He is one of the first whistleblower to reveal to us the Shamoonian we never knew. Remember, Sam has been a friend of mine for a long time, and I knew he was going south. That he, right, here's a man who is a known wife beater. He abandoned his own children. He's been given tens of thousands of dollars by people for ministry that he's put into the hands of gamblers who have just squandered it away. I could go on with the laundry list. This guy has no shame. He can't even blush anymore. He has no conscience. Yeah. We're talking about a man whose feet are dug in to doing some of the most heinous things I've ever seen anybody do. The same streams where he's hitting on girls, you know, Bible studies, you know, <laughs> trashing his wife, trashing his wife, and then hitting on girls. Hey, look, oh, guys, no. I'm a real catch. Christian about any of this. Just breeding pure vitriol. But if you could open up, if you could take the lid off of hell and smell what comes out of it, it's almost to me like when Sam opens his mouth. That's what comes out of it. Although Scared Shamoon came out in defense of his person saying, Anthony Rogers is just angry and waffling because he left the cult Calvinism and accepted Catholicism. We know this is not true. Scared Shamoon is only trying to do damage control, and he is very bad at it. If there is anything this whole fiasco proves, it is the fact that Anthony Rogers has been covering Sam mess because they too used to belong to the same Calvanist ideology. Scared Shamoon may call him a hypocrite if that makes him sleep well. One of the reasons Scared Shamoon was able to last this long before being exposed is the fact that Christian apologists believe Scared Shamoon has one of the best arguments against Islam and that makes them happy regardless. So to them, exposing him now is not the best idea. But I really enjoyed his debates and discussions in the past. He's, he's very knowledgeable of Islam, of the Quran, in the context of what Islam really teaches. Um, he's very critical of Muslims who will try to use eisegesis to interpret. In other words, inject concepts that are not in the Quran and reinterpret uh, what the Quran is actually teaching to make it more palatable. Uh, he's very good at exposing that. This is really hilarious. As Muslims, we know he has some of the worst arguments against Islam that any average Muslim can easily refute. This is why he often resorts to insulting Muslims and cursing them when refuted. I would have loved to play some of these clips, but I can't for fear of getting striked or shadow banned since it clearly violates YouTube community guidelines. His vile language is on a different level. Jonathan, a proud Protestant, is another perfect example of those who were lackadaisical in exposing scared Shamoon, because according to him, he does a good job exposing Muslims, as you've watched him confess earlier. But when he Jonathan couldn't tolerate Shamoon anymore for reasons that he is attacking Christians and misinterpreting the Bible, he decides to call a spade a spade and warn other Christians about him. I have a lot of respect for this gentleman, despite what might come off as arrogancy. <laughs> but now he seems to be wading into those waters himself, and I think he's going down a dangerous path in his practice of the Christian faith. I do think watching some of his recent videos and decisions he's making, I think he's heading down a wrong path, a path that could possibly undo a lot of what he stood for. And this is why I have a problem with the direction that Sam here is going. However, in my opinion, Jonathan is not happy because scared Shamoon is using the same ludicrous arguments he used for Muslims against Protestants by way of misrepresenting the Bible, just as he does the Quran and given it his own understanding. Why is it okay for Muslims, but not okay for Protestants? Talking about scared Shamoon attacking other Christians, JP, a close buddy of Avery, a few days ago, posted this on his YouTube community. Let the record show that Shamoonian is willing to make a whole live response 
response, hiding behind William but is afraid to debate me one-on-one, -on, -one, on a neutral platform or my platform. This is what we call a coward. Yes, as Muslims, we totally agree. Scared Shamoon is so scared of a neutral platform or a platform where he is not in control of the mute button. This why he has refused debating Brother Daniel. And this is where it got interesting. JP Uncut exposed to everyone what he has been harboring in his heart for a long time. We know he wouldn't have said a thing if Scared Shamoon wasn't becoming cancerous to the Christian community. He said of Scared Shamoon, You are a fraud and a coward. Exactly what Anthony Rogers said earlier. All you do is block people and control conversations with your aggressive childish temper tantrums. In a different post, JP said, Make no mistake, this behavior stems from the influence of scared Shamoon. You may ask, what behavior is JP talking about? It's right here. A habit of raiding debate, being disrespectful and claiming victory without substantiating their claims. When you think about this, you too will arrive at same conclusion. A perfect example will be the only public debate I know Scared Shamoon has ever had, and this debate was with Shabir Ali years ago. Whoever watched the video with an unbiased position clearly knows Scared Shamoon was annihilated and his career ended by Shabir. But when you open the comment section of anyone who uploaded the video, you will find Christians raiding it and giving victory to Scared Shamoon for no reason. For example, this one said, This man won the debate before he even started. Well done, Sam. How is it possible to to win a debate before it even started. This one said, There is no one who can challenge Sam, and he speaks the truth. This is coming from people who perhaps did not watch the debate at all. Going back to JP's post, we have this comment under it. I think Sam's gifting is debating Muslims without a doubt. He has been pretty hideous to brothers and sisters in Christ. He continued, I assume that Sam's life experience and the pain and hurt he's dealt with have caused him to struggle. He is impatient, angry and arrogant at times. This comment got a response under it stating what we have known for a long time. Billy said, I suspect being online is not a healthy thing for him at all presently. Sam's mental and spiritual health will be healthier if he weaned himself away from the net and focus working on real life. Talking about his mental state, we know he used to be an ex-mental patient, and this you would hear from him. Yeah, so I mean, here's what's funny, right? I mean, uh, I, I, am a, I am an actual ex-mental patient, and Sam should be an ex-mental patient, right? Yeah. I mean... Woo! I'm like Sam, and that... Okay, you saw language we, too? No, we oh. both have legitimate mental health issues, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can you say that again? <laughs> we both have legitimate mental health issues. <laughs> yes. Man, we got issues. Serious issues. <laughs> Serious issues on a level that's unimaginable, man. Seriously. I know that about myself, yeah, so... Stay tuned for the part two and see how dry wood and scared Shamoon fell apart. Literally everyone who used to be close to Sam are now avoiding him like a plague. I remain your brother Abdul. Catch you in the next one. These Quran app, subhanAllah, it's an amazing app. So I need you to go to this icon and um, the first thing you would see is the dashboard. So you also have your search engine. You can search using Arabic text and also you can search using um, your voice by clicking on this speaker then you speak let's use the um, favorite word for today's lesson which is dhikr dhikr so as you can see it gives us the various parts would see the word dhikr in the glorious Quran.